Now, Kiwis throw away over 120,000 tonnes of food a year. That fact that we waste so much food is made worse when we know how many people are living in poverty and struggling to feed their families. Here to tell us about an exciting initiative to redistribute this food is Reese McLaughlin. Welcome to the cafe, Reese. Thank you. Pleased when to you be say here. that, that um, that's such a terrible waste of food. What sort of food are we talking about? Is this food that supermarkets can't sell? It's a combination, really. Um, so, yes, it could be food from supermarkets mm. that's reached its best before date. Uh, it could be household food that hasn't been utilised, such as fruit that's mm. uh, turned. Sits uh, in the bowl and goes rotten. Sit in the bowls and go yeah. rotten. Uh, and it could be, you know, food from uh, food service outlets that have been, you know, overproduced or overcated or even food that's simply left over at the end of the day's trade. Mm, so it's it's edible food that's ending up in the in the landfill? Yes, yeah, edible food uh, ends up in the landfill. Uh, so essentially there's two types of, uh, of food waste. There's yeah. the avoidable and unavoidable. Avoidable food waste is when uh, the full uh, component of a product isn't being utilised, such as using potato peelings to make chips uh, and etc. And then the unavoidable is really when food has reached that stage where simply nothing else can be done for it and that's what we need to aim for. Mm. So you've had first hand experience too, haven't you, of working as a chef uh, and the waste that comes from commercial kitchens? Yes, there could be you know, lots of uh, avenues of waste that come from uh, commercial kitchens. Uh, could be something of a, a function or, a, or, or uh, dinner guests that have, uh, have simply cancelled and the food has been prepared. Um, there's lots of opportunities in a, in a commercial kitchen uh, to manage their food waste. So a lot of the time we're just making too much food and we're just not having that it's not going to the right places where it needs to. So tell me a little bit about the Food Collective, what's involved or who's involved? So Unilever Food Solutions has created the Food Collective uh, where we have partnered with Kiwi Harvest and Kibosh as our food rescue partners. We're, we're essentially on a mission to, uh, to raise money and rescue food um, for our food rescue partners within the hospitality industry. So Kibosh and Kiwi Harvest, how do they redistribute the food? What's their plan? So they essentially collect food from uh, a number of food service outlets uh, in their refrigerated vans um, and they collect that food and then redistribute it to their charities so that it goes to people in need. So they've got charities that they already work with? Yes, they have a number of charities. Uh, I think uh, e each one of them has a well over 100 charities that are registered to collect food. Gosh, the logistics of that. So what are you trying to achieve? Well, essentially, we're uh, we're wanting to do our part uh, in terms of minimising food waste and, and uh, within the hospitality industry. It's a massive uh, issue, uh, yeah. and it's growing. And as a big corporate, uh, we have our role to play. And it must be awful too when you're preparing this food and then having to chuck it out at the end of the night. I mean, it is such a waste, and you always want to give it to the to the right places. Uh, so the work that Unilever are doing is part of the Food Collective. I mean, how are you supporting the charities? Uh, so we're donating funds for every case of Unilever Food Solutions product that is donated um, and that money raised will then go to the Kiwi Harvest and Kibosh who will use it uh, within their organisation to uh, uh, how they see fit, uh, like putting new trucks on the road to collect even more food. Because mm, it's all about timing too, isn't it, with food, because you can't be giving off food to people. That's, ex that's essentially, yeah, that's, that's correct. So all the food that is collected by the charities, uh, by the rescue partners, is essentially um, redistributed within 24 hours. So what can the chefs and commercial kitchens be doing to support the initiative? Well, we're encouraging you know, those chefs uh, who are already buying our products uh, and, and uh, new customers to purchase Unilever Food Solutions products and sign up to this great initiative. Um, yeah, it is really a great initiative to feed, feed people. Do you know who are the charities that your uh, Kibosh and Kiwi Harvest are working with? There's a number of charities that they're working mm. through for everything from the Auckland City Mission through to uh, the Night Shelter in Wellington. Um, lots of soup kitchens, yeah. uh, as I said, I've got about 120, I think, each organi Gosh, each and rescue partner. And the more you delve into that, the more you realise there are people that are doing some really good things out there in the, in the community. And um, what about people at home that don't work in the food industry? Um, is there anything that they can do to help? Yeah, there's lots of uh, things that they can do to help. Uh, some simple uh, things are like keeping bread in the freezer so that it stays longer. Um, Planning their meals carefully to ensure that they're only uh, ordering the or buying the food that they that they essentially need. There's a fantastic website called Love Food Hate Waste, uh, which has lots of tips um, for households to uh, reduce their waste. That is great because I have three kids; they eat a lot, but even I still have the wastage with the fruit and things, uh, and I can't get that into them as much as I'd like to. Hey, that's been really interesting. Thank you so much, Reese. No Fascinating, a fantastic initiative. And if you are interested in the work that the Food Collective are doing and you want to know more, the website again is foodcollective.co.nz, or you can get in touch with Unilever directly through their Food Solutions sales reps.